It's a place where children not only pet, groom, feed, and ride horses, but read to them in a calming, nurturing, and non-judgmental environment. Michael Schlesinger highlights an equine program that's central to a unique center's mission of growing a humane community through youth education. It was very special. This is a dream job to me. For equine and animal specialist Michaela Kosmicki, her work at Hawes Shalick Center for Animals in Delafield is really her life's mission. I love working with the horses and then being able to teach others about it. It's a lot of fun seeing kids and adults just grow and learn more about horses and become more confident around them. These animals are the obvious choice in the game, at least for her. How big they can be, but how gentle and caring they can be as well. It's really interesting to see the connections that can be built with a horse. And it's connections made between horse and human, making the center thrive, starting with the kids. Third through fifth graders read to Skittles the Pony. Those in sixth through ninth participate in the Explorers group. For them, it's more hands-on. They learn how to take care of the horses. They learn um, leading, grooming. They learn how to take temperature pulse, respiratory rate, we talk about nutrition, and then towards the end of the session, they'll learn how to get on a horse, they'll learn how to tack a horse. And eventually, they'll be riding. We want to provide unique animal experiences that they'll keep with them. Heather Tomac is the Director of Education here at Shalik. Our goal is to build a community of compassionate citizens, and you start that with a young age. We do early childhood, so we do from three years old all the way up through high school. And the goal is to build upon first an appreciation, then an understanding, and then hopefully as they get into high school and the college advocacy. Heather says this overall experience is really like none other for so many kids. So we've had um, inner city kids from Milwaukee come out and have experiences with these animals up close and personal, nose to nose to a horse. Um, eighth grade boys feeding our goats and they're giggling because the tongue is tickling their hand and they've never felt that before. She adds the land entrusted by Jane and Mike Shalek is the perfect space to learn whether it's for field trips or programs offered in general. This property, 77 acres, to have the opportunity to incorporate environmental education, outdoor education, so that we have a larger picture of how an ecosystem and the health of an ecosystem then supports the animals that we care for here and at our shelter. No other place has that. Paws, otherwise known as Humane Animal Welfare Society of Waukesha County, is constantly looking to match dogs and cats with their forever homes. But here, these mares and geldings, about half a dozen in all, are permanent fixtures teaching valuable lessons to all of us. Build from one block to the next to hopefully end up with an adult who then supports Haas and is kind and compassionate to every living thing. I've learned to have lots of patience and just take um, everything in stride. You never know what's going to happen with a horse. Um, they tend to like to throw surprises at us. So you just keep rolling with it and take care of the horses one day at a time.